Hello station students, this is Mr. Duke and we are going to review creating holes in objects in SketchUp. So let's review the first way. I've started out with a one inch sketch here and I'm going to add a circle to the center of it. If I find my midpoints, I need a midpoint from both sides to find my center, I'm going to create a circle and for this purpose it can be any size. I've created a circle on my sketch. You would think that you could go about and use the eraser tool to erase this, but it doesn't erase the hole, it just erases the sketch. So I'm going to undo and show you what you have to do in a sketch layout. I'm actually going to grab the push-pull tool and I'm going to click and release my mouse and I'm going to begin pushing that hole through you'll notice it begins coming through the object, create an object below my sketch. If I just stop it there, I am then able to use my eraser tool and if I click on that tube that's coming through that sketch, you've got to go to the bottom edge of that tube and if I click erase, I've created a hole in my sketch. From there, it's easy to use the push-pull tool to pull up my object. I'm going to pull it off one inch to create my cube with hole. And I'm going to use my view extents tool to center my object. And you will notice that hole is going all the way through that cube. That is the first way to go about creating a hole in an object. Now, the second way if I undo what we have there, I'm going to again create a hole in the middle of my sketch. And let's say I pull up this object and I come up to one inch. You think that the hole is there, but if you rotate to the bottom of your cube, you will notice that it did not go all the way through your object. In order to delete this hole in my cube, I cannot just click delete on the bottom of it because it deletes just the sketch. Again, what I need to do is use the push-pull tool, pull the object down, and then I'm able to delete the edge of that object and it puts the hole all the way through the cube for me. That is option two. The third option to create a hole in your objects is, let's say you've started with your one inch square sketch. I'm going to pull up that sketch from there, one inch. So I've got a one inch cube and I'm going to use my view extents, the magnifying glass with the three arrows to recenter my object and I'm going to create my sketch on top of this cube. Let's say I add my circle to the top of this. I want to find my midpoint on two different edges so I can find the center and I create my circle. Now if I use my push-pull I can click once and release on the mouse push all the way through, you will notice it'll start creating an object below your cube. So the trick is when you are pushing through this circle that you have to end up right on edge. You will notice I've stopped right there. Let's see if I can zoom in. Notice my mouse is right there on edge. If you land at that point, you will create a hole that goes all the way through your object. So that is the third way to create a hole in your object. Go ahead and give that a try. Good luck.